So, just look an event. Now, today is a day like any other day. But, for whatever reason, I don't know if I'm PMSing or whatever the case is, but I'm just really not feeling it today. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to meal prep. I don't want to work on my meal plan. I don't want <laughs> to do anything but stay in the bed. It's been... Um, a really rough ass two months let's call it <laughs> and um, I've been pressing for the last two months and you know just keep going you know get hit keep going get knocked down keep going you know and uh, I do have quite a bit to show for it praise God but I'm tired <laughs> I'm depleted, uh, and, uh, you know, I'm tired. What is a person supposed to do? How many hits can a nigga take? Um, and the answer is a lot. I've, I've, I'm built up for this shit, apparently. <laughs> apparently, I'm more built to take hits than to keep it pushing. You feel me? Um, so, just venting because real life is every day. It's every day. Thickness fitness is every day. And I am thickness fitness every single day. Every day. However, uh, you know, I'm also challenged every day to live what I preach, to live what I speak. You understand what I mean? And uh, it's not easy, you know, <laughs> but it has to get done, right? And so even when I don't feel like it, something has to get done. So I may not do everything. But I'm guaranteeing you I'm going to do at least one or two things that I don't feel like doing today in order to be productive. I have to be productive. Um, but I don't feel like being productive today. I don't. I feel like I've been fighting for two months with one hand tied behind my back. I feel like I've been ridiculed by the people who say that they love me the most. Mostly because they don't understand everything that it takes to just walk a day in my shoes. Just one day. And everyone's not going to like my choices, right? But I at least thought that we were all at a point where regardless of if we like each other's choices, we'll still respect them. But I've been shown over the last two months that even the people who say that they love you the most, if what you're doing doesn't suit them or they're not happy with it, it doesn't matter. They'll ridicule you. They will. And they don't even care if it hurts. But... Even in that, it doesn't change that they love you. They still love you. They do. They just don't respect you. And that is just, that's huge, you know. And so in those cases, because you know that they love you, you just respectfully let them live without you. Um, and when I say that, I really just mean like in certain respects. I don't mean like walk out of their lives or anything like that. I mean just... You know, instances that you know are going to require them to respect you, you know, and you know that they don't, don't put yourself in a position to be disrespected so that you're never in a situation where you have to test the bonds of your friendship ever again, you know, or your relationship, whatever that relationship may be. I've never been as broken as I am now in my life. But I'm so hopeful for the future. I'm hopeful for everything that's coming. I am. And I'm ready for it on top of that. I'm ready to do 
amazing things. I'm ready to affect the world, to impact people in a positive way. I'm ready, you know? I hope that this encourages you to keep going. Every day is not gonna be good. Some days are gonna be like this one right here. Can you still deal with a few of these days if you know that eventually it's leading you to your destiny? I can. I hope you can too.